Hello, in today's class, the chapter that we will be learning is binary data representation part 4. In that, we will learn about binary subtraction and binary division. Let us do a practical session for that. The first that we will be learning is binary subtraction. And it is pretty similar to the one in that decimal subtraction. And here we have some rules in binary subtraction, and those are 0 minus 0 would give us 0, 1 minus 0 would give us 1, 0 minus 1 would give us 1 because we will borrow 1 from the next number on the left side and 1 minus 1 would give us 0 obviously and you know these rules are also similar to this to the decimal subtraction now we will take an example of decimal subtraction so that will be 37 minus 15. So 7 minus 5 would give us 2. 3 minus 1 would give us 2. So here we have our value 2. Now the next example in decimal subtraction. So we have 1700 zero zero minus 199. So here 0 minus 9. So we will cancel the 0 as we are borrowing from the next number. But this number is 0. So we will go to the next number of it. That is 7. We are borrowing 1. So it would be 6. And this borrowed 1 would be converted into power to 10. So it would be 10 over here. So 10 minus 9 would be 1. But for this 0, it will be 1, 9. Right? So 9 minus 9 would be 0. 6 minus 1 would be 5. And 1 minus assume 0 would be 1. As you know, the 0 on the left side doesn't change the value because 0, 1, 9, 9 is equal to 1, 9, 9. Right? Now, we will take an example in binary subtraction. So, we have the number of 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. And this is 13 in decimal number system. And we will subtract it from 0, 1, 0 and this is 2 in decimal number system and this will give us 11. So let's see if we will get 11 in this binary subtraction. So 1 minus 0 would be 1, 0 minus 1 we will have to borrow according to the rule. So we will cancel it and we will go to next number and since it is 1 we will borrow 1, so it will be 0, and this 1 will be in power to 2. As in decimal number system, the 1 that we were borrowing was converted into power to 10. So this one, since it is in binary number system, will be converted into power to 2. So we will have 2 ones. So this 2 minus 1 will give us 1 as this one minus this one will be zero and there is one one there is this one left we will have one as an answer now zero minus zero will be zero one minus assume zero if you want to make it simple so one zero minus zero that will be zero so let's check if it is eleven or not two days to zero 2 raised to 1 and 2 raised to 4. So 2 raised to 4 would give us. 
sorry this is 2 raised to 3 so 2 raised to 3 would give us 8 plus 2 raised to 1 that is 2 plus 2 raised to 0 that is 1 so 8 plus 2 10 plus 1 that is 11 we have our 11 now in next example that is zero that is zero zero one zero zero one zero one and the next number is zero 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 one zero 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 one and this number is thirty seven the decimal number and this one is 17 and in our decimal number system now the answer will be 20 now in this binary subtraction 1 minus 1 will be 0 0 minus 0 0 1 minus 0 that is 1 0 minus 0 0 1 minus sorry 0 minus 1 so we'll have to borrow so cancel this number and the next number is 1 so we can borrow 1 will be 0 and the 1 which will which will be in power to 2 so we will have two ones so this 1 minus 1 will be 0 but again additional 1 so answer will be 1 so 0 minus 0 0 in zeros and zeros and you know this zeros doesn't matter as you know on the leftmost side if you are having zeros it wouldn't change the value now let's check the value of this so this one would be 2 raised to power to 2 and 2 raised to power to 4 so it would be 16 plus 4 so 20 we have 20 as an answer now the last example of binary subtraction. And that is one one zero 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 and we are subtracting one one one. So yeah, zero minus one. So we will have to borrow. So cancel this. But the next number is zero. So again next number again is 0. So next number is 1. So we can borrow it will be 0. And this 1 would be in power to 2. So we will have 2 ones. And this 2, I mean this 2 zeros will get 1 and 1. Now this 2 ones minus 1 that will be 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0 again. Okay. 0 minus assume 0 0 1 minus 0 that is 1 so here we have our answer and this is how we can do subtract subtraction in binary now we will move to binary division And binary division is similar to the decimal division. But we will take an example of decimal division. And that is 37 divided by 2. So 2 comes a 2. So we we'll have one as remainder, so we will bring on seven two eight uh, sixteen again we have one as remainder and eighteen is our answer. Now another example of decimal division That is one zero zero 
7 divided by 3. This here 1 is less than 3. So we will take this two numbers. So 3 to 3 will give us 9. So 10 minus 9 will give us 1. We will bring in down to 0. Again 3 into 3 will give us 9. So again 1 to 7. 3 into 5 would be 15. So we have 2 as remainder and 335 as answer. Now we will move to binary division and for that we have a binary number and that is 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 and we will divide it by 1 0 0 0 and this number that we are dividing is 74 in our SMR number system and the number by which we are dividing is 8. Now 1 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 0 now we are subtracting this number so 1 minus 0 1 0 minus 0 0 0 minus 0 0 1 minus 1 0 now we are bringing now this 0 but this 10 is not divisible by 1000 as it is less than 1 0 0 0 so we will have to put this 0 for here now again this one again this one zero one is not divisible as it's less than one zero 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 so we'll have to put again zero here now we will bring in down zero and yes it is divisible as it is greater than this one zero 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 so one zero 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 one will be Now we have to subtract it. So 0, 1, 0, 0. And this is our remainder. And, and this is our answer. And this is how we can do division in binary system. Now we will take another example and that is for that here we have another number that is one zero 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 one 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 and we are dividing it by one zero one and this is one thirty five and as one number system and this one zero one is five now, 101 came this 100 is less than 101, so we will put 0 over here. Now, 101, 1 za, 101. Now, we are subtracting this. This 0 minus 1 will have to borrow. Gain 0, gain 0, gain 0. So, we borrow from this, it will become 0. This one will have two ones and this two zeros will have one one. So two one minus one that is one, one minus zero one, one minus one that is zero and zero minus zero that is zero. Again we are bringing down the zero and it is yes visible as this one one zero is greater than one zero one. So one zero one one the one zero one and again subtraction zero minus one that is 
you'll have to borrow so it will become zero the next number and this one will have two ones so it will be one two one minus one will be one zero minus zero zero one minus one will be zero again we are going now this one but again this two one and less than one zero one so we'll have to put zero over here and again we are bringing down one another one so one zero one one za one zero one so we subtracted one minus one zero one minus zero one one minus one zero one zero we will bring in on this one here and one zero one one the one zero one zero 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 as it was perfectly visible and here we have our answer and that is one one zero one one and this is how we can do division in binary so in next lecture we will learn about the rational numbers thank you